I'm excited to say that uh, I'm working in with a collab with Sandy Saves the Day. Um, so go over to Sade and check out her videos after you watch this one. She will be focusing more on the handmade artists, handmade paint artists, and um, talking more in depth about them. And I will be focusing on um, handmade uh, paints and packaging versus store-bought and factory-made paints. So go check out Sade after you watch mine. Welcome back to Malak Art. My name is Mickey and I'm here to do a comparison of handmade watercolor paints versus store-bought watercolor paints. And in order to do that, I've bought um, a new set from a hand maker um, Dan from um, Penholder Art UK um, and I've also bought some new ones from White Knights um, and these came with a Jackson's order that I had previously done um, on one of my earlier videos I think the one right before this actually so I want to um, unbox these and sort of talk about the packaging and then I'm going to run through some things that I found and um, yeah so we're gonna start with packaging now with um, with store-bought you'll get everything straightforward you'll get um, like pretty much something like this and the product will be inside that you've paid for for instance if you um, buy a set you'll get the set you'll get the packaging and depending on who they are, they'll make them nice and fancy or they'll be very, very straightforward. Now, um, handmaids are varied. Um, the packaging comes very straightforward. Here's a few examples I'm going to pull over. Um, Dr. Atokano, she sends them in a pillow box and she'll send um, just the product which is very straightforward and you get the product um, wooded woods will send um, fairly minimal packaging um, but she she sends a ton of stuff you, you get a ton of stuff in here actually this is the packaging for the white knights so I can show you that um, if you order from EMA, um, Earth Mineral Arts, she sends um, a pillow bin with all sorts of packaging um, in, in various ways and um, she, has, she sent me an extra, extra paint um, and depending on the handmade paint artist, creator, uh, worker, person um, they will or will not give you an extra and it, it's not something you should actually look forward to it's, it's just something you should be really super grateful for because they do a ton of work um, Stoneworks Mill sends theirs in a box and you get like very fancy packaging you get if you this is a set that I bought um, the autumn set and she gets gives me a thank you card um, I got actual natural sponge and when I dug way in here, she had actually cut up some uh, little cardboard leaves that I could use to decorate. I don't know where I put them, but this is real. And I didn't want to use it because I was savoring it, so I put it back in here. But this is the little tin that she sent, and they're all handmade. And they smell wonderful. And I treasure these. Um, I treasure all of my paints. There really doesn't matter who or where they're from. I love them all. They're all wonderful tools, but sometimes getting a little extra thought in your um, your shipment is is very very sweet. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and open Dan's, and I'll kind of show you. I did open it to peek, and he sent a note, which is really really sweet. It is, there's no need to send a note, but it, when they do, it just adds that person, extra personal touch. And of course, his packaging is, whoops, there's my mic, the line, I'm trying to hide that. Pretty straightforward. 
but he sent me a bunch of extras. He was apologetic because there was one um, color that I ordered that he didn't have. So <laughs> see, he just sent me like oh, way too much. This is great, Dan. I really appreciate it. There's, I'm a pretty regular visitor of his shop. So this stuff is, it's just really wonderful. So I got a, four. I, I only ordered three. Oh my word. Oh, and, and some samples. Okay, this is the fun of getting something from a handmade um, paint art artist. Let me just say that, handmade, handmade paint artist. Oh, look what he sent. I can't even remember what I ordered. <laughs> um, I think I ordered Malachite Quinacridone Gold, which this Quinacridone Gold is the PO49, which is the um, discontinued uh, pigment. Uh, and he sent an opal and um, Magnes Violet. Oh, fun. So this is the swatches for those. This is the opal. This is the quinacridone gold. Gorgeous with that Magnes Violet. And ooh, look at that. Oops. Forgot what I just said. It's malachite. Oh, and and of course he sent these really cool, very generous dots. I'm not sure what they are. I'll have to ask. But I will have fun. This looks like a burgundy of some color. Red and a beautiful sky blue. This is awesome. See, sometimes you get um, a generous, I mean, it really depends on your conversations with the, the handmade paint artist. So I cannot wait to swatch these out and I will do that. But I wanna compare this to the others that I got. This is from Earth Mineral Arts. Inside, she sent me these, this um, little kit. These are the, all the things that I ordered and she added one. Um, I can't remember which is the one that she added. Um, but she added one, I think it's, I think it's this one that she added. I said, if you, then she'll send them in little discs. So they're little discs on here, but I ended up reconstituting them and adding them into pan, half pans. So here they are. <laughs> so you see they were just dots. They weren't a full half pan. But for some reason, I work better at a half pan. So I don't know why, Just it's just my thing. So these are other Dan's other um, paints that he sent me. I have other, I have a chromium oxide green that he sent me to somewhere. But uh, there's more Dan's paints, but these are hers. And she sends this Yubo paper with a magnet on it so that you can mix. So this was inside here. How thoughtful is that? That is just amazing. And all of these colors are vibrant and gorgeous. I'm so afraid to use them up. I do use them, but I'm just, uh, I don't know. It's just something about it when someone actually hand makes something. It's really amazing. It's just the, the thought that goes into it. Oh, and when you buy a set from Dan, he'll send you one of these tins. So you put all of this little goodies in. You'll find them like this in his little tin. And this is his art on the front. So there's that. So he, these are my other handmaids that I've consolidated. Um, I have Otto Cano. Um, I have Jasper. Jasper, uh, I think he, he sends his um, very, very minimal. Um, no note, nothing. <laughs> Just the package and the paints. Um, um, Colors of Nature. Colors of Nature is a place that you find online. And um, sometimes they don't have anything to sell, but right now they are selling, so go there and check them out. Their paints smell amazing. I, when I open this, that wonderful cinnamon cl clovey smell wafts up. Um, what else do I have in here? I have one River Vale Arts. She's very minimal in her packaging, but she definitely, you know, she takes care of your half pan. She puts a magnet on it for, for you. This is one of Otto Cano, Dr. Otto Cano's, and I've been using it up. And Kitty's yelling at me at the door. And Penholder Art. Um, what else have I got in here? 
Jasper. Um, and I think that's it. Just I've been buying from Dan from for a long time now. Probably the longest out of all the others. So I have more of his than anybody else's. So there's there's that. There's your um, first hand of the packaging for handmaids. Now when I ordered from Jackson's, they put all of these that I ordered from them in this bag. And with the rest of the supplies I ordered, they um, took a strip of cardboard and wrapped everything around that stuff and taped it all good and then put it, that in an envelope. So it was very secure. So when you get packaging from Jackson's, you know they're, they're very secure. I stopped ordering from Jerry's because I was very concerned about Jerry's Artorama, very concerned about their packaging. Um, I did a trial order from them, and that will be a later video, but they seem to change their packaging, um, which is good. It's, a good. it's a good different packaging. Okay, so this is my St. Petersburg White Knights. And the difference between um, store-bought paints is you'll have all of the information, light fastness, um, pigments, everything right on the wrapper usually. Um, and um, for handmaids, you usually don't. You don't have that. And that's because a lot of the handmade artists um, want to keep their formulas to themselves and they just want you to enjoy the color. And if you're a purist, I kind of lean toward a purist kind of person. I need to know what's in these paints. I need to know what pigments in there. I need to know what binders in there. I'm just one of those people who, who just has to know. So that's the other thing that you get that's good with a store-bought paint. You know what's in there. <laughs> you can do your research. You can call the company. Um, and let's kind of run through some of the, the facts that I have found. These are my opinions. And if you differ with them or if you know anything better, let me know in the comments below. So is the pigment info available? And factory made, usually yes. In handmade, um, it's unpredictable for each seller unless you ask them in an email or whatever. Um, are they transparent about their um, business, uh, about their uh, formulas, etc.? Um, businesses are usually straightforward and um, handmaids are usually, they tend to keep their secrets. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's not, it's, this is not um, the way it is for every handmade artist. Um, the cost for factory is usually generally inexpensive. These are, this set is very expensive. These are only like a, a couple dollars each for full pans and they're very good paints. Um, and these will be, uh, I think these are four pounds in, um, in uh, UK cost, or uh, UK, <laughs> I guess it's England. Um, and the, the, um, he, this was twice the price because it's, it's been discontinued. So, um, anywhere around $10 for a half pan. So it gets really expensive for handmade paints. I think that's why I treasure them so much. Packaging for factory people is really straightforward. You usually know what to expect. It's usually pretty consistent. Um, handmaids, it's, as you saw, it varies. And sometimes it's very thoughtful packaging. Um, supply, is it usually available? Well, the factory, um, usually always. You can always get, let's see, this color, ruby. You can always get them. But for handmade people, you often have to wait um, because their supply will run out uh, quickly, depending on how popular where they are or um, how much they make. Are they available for, available for questions? Um, Factory is usually um, a waiting period. It's hard to get a hold of somebody, you know, corporate people and stuff. They have a, a, a waiting list and phone line or whatever. You can email them too, and sometimes that's faster. Um, the handmade artists usually you can get they'll get right back to you within the day. Um, the formula is usually consistent for for these guys. Um, it varies for the handmade artists um, unless they're really strict about their formulas. Opacity, um, factory maids usually straightforward. You know what to expect. Um, handmaids are usually a little bit more opaque, 
just because it, it takes so much to grind them up. I don't know, that could be wrong. Some of them are transparent, depends on what they're using or what they're making or what you're buying. So opacity, opacity, consistency, predictability, um, it's, it's always, always a, a gray area over here on the handmade side and the granulation as well. Now, is there love in it? And that's hard to say with the fact we made. I mean, you have to go to the website and kind of, you know, read what they have to say and get a feel for them. And handmade, yes, always, always, they love what they do or they wouldn't be doing it. Um, I, I mean, I probably have run into like one um, handmade company that I, I don't have, a, I pretty much don't think he loves his stuff, but I think he just, you know, he wants the, the business. But the rest, I mean, 99.9, .9, you'll find a handmade artist. They do it because they're passionate about what they do. And, it, and it, what does that, you know, what do you want from your paints? Do you want the love in it? Or do you want, you know, your, your expectation, you know, to be met every time? Or your expectation to be delighted, you know? So it really depends. I hope I've covered everything. I really want to open these up and swatch them out and finish this video. Um, but I hope I've run through everything that I have here. Um, and I'll list all of these um, handmade artists that I've reviewed here um, below. And um, I'll, I'll do a little blurb on them also in the, um, in the info below. And um, okay, so I'm going to do a time lapse of opening these and then I will swatch them. Okay, so we're ready to go back to get back and do the swatching part. So Here's the manganese violet, which is a beautiful, beautiful color. And next is the very expensive Queen Gold, PO49. Wow, look at those two together. Very bright neighbors, make each other bright. So this Queen Gold can go to a really beautiful buttery yellow, but also this deep dark burnt uh, sunset color almost. And the next one is Malachite Genuine. <laughs> now I'm not sure if you see this. Whoops, I was going off the camera. But it's giving me little squiggles. Let's see if I can put my hand behind it. Check that out. That's um, Malachite Genuine. So we're going to try this guy out. And sometimes the genuine ones are a little like, whoa, a little bit unexpected. And it's possible he had to treat the outside of this. Because I'm getting all sorts of little gunks. Not sure why. But his swatch is a lot more brighter than mine. <laughs> it's possibly the, um, the settling of the pigment. And this last one is opal, which he says the pigment originates from somewhere in Arizona, USA, America. That's a nice, 
very cool. Let's see if I can get a clean brush. Sometimes the, the minerals, you really have to just work at them a little bit longer. So very granulating. It's really pretty though. So this uh, malachite is a um, uh, oxidization process with the copper, so it may brighten up um, over time. So that would be really cool to see. But there you have these lovely swatches. And look at the granulation on that manganese violet. Wow, that's cool. Thank you, Dan, so much. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use these on a little quick time lapse. And um, thank you for joining me um, for this probably very long video by now. Um, and I hope you learned something from these, this video. Um, go out and support a handmade uh, paint maker. Um, they put a lot of love into it and it's always really neat. Um, but if you are prefer the store-bought, look at this. Kind of looks like there's some gold in there. Ooh, that's cool. That's nice. It must be one of his Christmas ones. Um, yeah, and this one looks like it's frosty. It has opal in it as well. It's very shiny. Very pretty. Nice work, Dan. Awesome. So if you're, you know, if you love your old standbys and you want it consistent and you know what to, what to expect every time, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. If you fall in love with something and you know it's working for you, there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. So. <laughs>